Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the field of global industrial robots, RV reducers, as core components, have long been monopolized by Japan's NAB Tesco, like an insurmountable barrier, standing in front of Chinese companies. However, in 2025, this situation was completely rewritten. With the domestically developed RV reducers independently developed by Chinese companies, they officially broke through Japan's 30-year technology blockade and achieved a gorgeous turn from being controlled by others to being the master. Dilemma and Opportunities Under Japan's Monopoly With its deep technical accumulation in the field of RV reducers, Japan's Naptesco has long occupied 61% of the global market share, and as high as 90% in the high-end field. Relying on its technological monopoly, they implemented a high-price strategy for Chinese companies, selling to Chinese companies at twice the price of European and American companies, and the delivery period was delayed by the 3rd of June months. This unfair trade practice made domestic robot manufacturers miserable and almost fell into the dilemma of collective food shortage. However, difficulties often breed opportunities. It is this pain of being stuck in the neck that has inspired the fighting spirit and innovative spirit of Chinese companies. In the laboratory of Hebei Zhikuan, Professor Zhang Yuming of Beijing University of Technology led the team to work hard for four years under difficult conditions. They were not intimidated by Japan's technical patents, but through continuous exploration and innovation, they smashed the Japanese patent wall. This breakthrough not only broke Japan's technological monopoly, but also opened up a new path for the development of China's industrial robot industry. The Counterattack of Domestic RV Reducers The counterattack of domestic RV reducers is not smooth. Before that, it was still struggling on the line of life and death, facing many problems such as technical bottlenecks, capital shortages, and low market recognition. But Chinese companies did not give up, but continued to increase R&D investment, strengthen industry university research cooperation, and improve product quality and performance. Today, domestic RV reducers have achieved remarkable results. The gear accuracy is 0.5 arc minutes, the lifespan exceeds 6,000 hours, and the noise is 3 decibels lower than that of Japanese products. The improvement of these performance indicators indicates that domestic RV reducers have reached the international advanced level. It was snapped up as soon as it was mass-produced, and the price was directly cut to 70% of Japanese products. It can be said that the core components were sold at a bargain price. The delivery time is shortened to two weeks. This series of changes made Japanese engineers dumbfounded when they opened the samples. They did not expect that Chinese companies would progress so fast and maintain accuracy more steadily than their own products. The change in market share directly reflects the rise of domestic RV reducers. It soared from 10% in 2018 to 18.89% in 2024, while Japan's NAB Tesco fell from 51% to 40% during the same period. This rise and fall is the result of the unremitting efforts of Chinese companies and the market's recognition of domestic RV reducers. The undercurrent of the global industrial chain the breakthrough of domestic RV reducers is not only a technical victory, but also a profound reshaping of the global industrial chain. Today, 
The four major robot families in the world are queuing up to talk about cooperation with China. The purchasing director of a German car company said bluntly, with the same performance, who can't get along with money. This sentence reveals the real needs of the market and reflects the continuous improvement of the status of Chinese companies in the global industrial chain. In addition to RV reducers, China has also made important breakthroughs in other core components. Even the deadly bearings have been localized. The installation time of Luoyang LYC's precision bearings has exceeded 8,000 hours, and the price is only one-third of that of European products. These achievements have made Japanese companies feel unprecedented pressure. What they fear most is not the leakage of technology, but the bargain price tactics of Chinese manufacturers. Europe and the United States have high-end monopoly, and China directly monopolizes the middle and low end. This strategy not only breaks the market monopoly of Japanese companies, but also injects new vitality into the diversified development of the global industrial chain. Future Prospects of Chinese Companies With the rise of Chinese companies, the technical barriers of the Japanese are afraid that there will be no slag left. But this does not mean that Chinese companies can sit back and relax. In today's increasingly fierce global competition, Chinese companies still need to continuously strengthen technological innovation, improve product quality and service level, expand international markets, and realize the transformation from following to running side by side and then to leading. At the same time, Chinese companies should also strengthen cooperation and exchanges to jointly promote the healthy development of the global industrial chain. Through technology sharing, market cooperation, and other means, we can achieve mutual benefit and win-win results and make greater contributions to the development of global industry. The breakthrough of domestic RV reducers is a microcosm of independent innovation of Chinese enterprises and a symbol of Chinese industry going global. In the future development, Chinese enterprises will continue to uphold the spirit of innovation, constantly challenge themselves, surpass themselves, and inject new impetus into the development of global industry. Let us look forward to Chinese enterprises shining more brightly in the global industrial chain.